Hello everyone. I am Tanveer and in this presentation I'll talk about the 5G fundamentals and how this fifth generation of networks would enable new applications and use cases for consumers and enterprises. In the past we have seen that every new generation of the networks has promised faster speeds and improved connectivity applications over its previous generation remember the 2g era when people for the very first time had access to both internet and voice services together most operators today are sunsetting this network technology later as you know the next decade was the onset of third generation of networks and smartphone apps then the fourth generation of networks 4g was launched in 2010 it offered 10 times faster speeds than 3g also it further enabled the use of applications like hd video mobile tv streaming and many others today several countries have launched the fifth generation of networks as well let's explore what they are all about when comparing the nascent 5g networks with the dominant 4g what are those pull factors of migration from 4g to 5g the first one is quite obvious it is higher bandwidth and faster speeds the downlink speeds in case of 5g can peak up to 20 gbps which is 20 times more than 4g second is much lower latencies and the third biggest differentiator is 5g's ability to provide reliable speeds to a large group of devices deployed in a particular area 5g has three basic applications that support a multitude of use cases from 8k video streaming cloud gaming to autonomous vehicles and use cases as complex as remote surgeries The first application is enhanced mobile broadband. This application is all about faster speeds. It will support more consumer centric applications. The second one is massive machine type communications which is critical for use cases that involve high device density such as the industrial IoT. Third is ultra reliable low latency communications. This application of 5G is inevitable for the most critical applications where a delay of data transfer from one end to the other by even a few seconds could result in blunders. For example, remote surgeries. The technology behind 5G supports all the three spectrum bands. Operators using a mix of all three of them would acquire the benefits of 5G to its full potential. The first one is low band. In the case of low band, the 5G speeds are moderately faster than 4G. Overall, low bands are the ones already in use of 4G services. The low band provides the highest coverage. One low band cell tower can cover hundreds of square miles. Mid band This band is advantageous in terms of both coverage as well as speeds. It can provide speeds in the range of 100 to 900 Mbps. Further, it is expected that the speeds for this band can improve up to 1.5 Gbps. The last one is the high band. It provides the highest speeds amongst all three bands. However, this band is ideal only for providing services over shorter distances the mid band is considered the most ideal one as it balances both speeds and coverage operators in asia pacific haven't missed the opportunity to secure spectrum under this category now what the state of apac in terms of 5g subscriber penetration and key launches looks like china and south korea are leading the 5g subscriber penetration with 30% and 28% respectively whether it is the device availability government support 
development of 5G applications, spectrum, spectrum availability, or massive infrastructure layout by the operators. The overall ecosystem for 5G services is more developed in these countries as compared to the others. Japan is slightly behind it, its peers in terms of 5G deployment. However, there is a strong ecosystem of local vendors and operators, supportive government policies that would continue to manage a strong position for Japan. In countries like Malaysia and Indonesia, initially only a few operators have launched 5G. When it comes to the 5G use cases, two broad categories are consumers and enterprises. In a consumer narrative, it has been time and again asked if 5G is a technology that would transform the way people conduct their lives or is simply hype. Indeed, 5G promises faster speeds that will support data-heavy applications, but the answer to this question will largely depend on how the ecosystem for 5G will develop going forward. Operators are strategizing 5G for consumers in two ways. Firstly, by ensuring the availability of 5G devices, and secondly, by adding value to the mobile plans. Operators are strategically bundling the 5G-rich apps. They are developing these apps either individually or in partnerships with other tech giants. A few examples of applications that are unique to 5G includes AR-VR-based media and applications, 360-degree video streaming, these cases uh, would primarily utilize the enhanced mobile broadband application of 5G. Enhanced mobile broadband provides greater data bandwidth coupled with moderate latency improvements. The next is 5G for enterprise. Private networks play an important role in enabling digital transformation for enterprises. What are private networks? A private network is an enterprise-owned local area network deployed in a large area. The technology benefits of private 5G are similar to those of public 5G. However, it provides more control over your network in terms of security, policies, data, and services. 5G private networks are flexible in terms of deployment. There are broadly two models. The first one is dedicated on-prem private network. The network is dependent of any interference from the public network. In the hybrid deployment model, an enterprise uses some components of the public network as well. Private 5G when compared with the legacy networks offer better performance and security levels. For instance, Wi-Fi doesn't offer the same level of attributes as compared to private LT or 5G. Although not all enterprises or applications need private networks, 5G private networks play a role to support a wide variety of use cases, especially mission critical operations like remote control operations, autonomous vehicles. Here are the 5G use cases that the ecosystem of enterprises, telcos and vendors in APAC are testing and commercializing successfully. The use cases are prominently in vertical industries such as manufacturing, urban mobility, ports, mining, and healthcare. What are the potential use cases within these industries? For instance, maritime industry is facing challenges around high labor cost and increasing trade volume. This leads to more complexities and operational inefficiencies at the seaport. Use cases like RTGs, video surveillance, AGVs, smart ships, cargo handling optimization helps overcome these challenges. Similarly, smart manufacturing enabled by 5G network includes the application of AR VR for remote expertise robotics for remote control, predictive and preventive maintenance of machinery. All of these use cases require a highly reliable and secure network. Deploying private networks have certain challenges. Some of the biggest challenges are huge infrastructure costs, 
lack of IT expertise to deploy and manage private networks. Network as a service is an emerging business model for organizations to consume network infrastructure through flexible OPEX-based subscriptions. Network as a service is like an all-in-one networking solution that is inclusive of hardware, software tools for managed services, spectrum licenses, and lifecycle services. The network enterprises can use these services as and when needed and only pay for what they use. Entity, AWS, Cisco are some of the emerging vendors in this space. Now that you have an idea of what 5G is all about, you can simply scan this QR code and test your 5G knowledge with the help of a quick quiz. Thank you very much.